Hello, everyone. Uh, we're here today with Katie Nelson. Katie is a, a hygienist who used to practice hygiene, right, Katie? Yep, for about 20 years. And work Oryx, and now you work for Oryx as um, sales and demo uh, person, right? So you're very yeah. familiar with Oryx, and we're going to talk about um, Oryx Demo Cloud Software, one of the software companies that I highly recommend. Um, and it should be on your list of um, software to demo before you make a decision uh, to switch from a from an on-premise um, software. And everybody knows I'm a big fan of cloud computing, Katie. I, I believe the security of our data is very important. And by going cloud, although it is not 100%, but it saves a lot of um, money you should spend on securing your premises and backups and also, um, it, it, it's a, a matter of convenience and how convenient it is to have a cloud software. Um, Katie, um, go ahead and tell us a little bit about, about yourself, and then we can jump into the to the demo part. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so thanks, Bob. Um, like you said, I was a hygienist for nearly 20 years. Um, I worked at several different offices with different softwares. So. Oryx was the first cloud software that I had personally used. And the doctor that I was working for was really excited to go cloud. We had an old practice management system that was ancient. And so it was a really great refreshing change for us. Um, our practice was a little bit different. Um, we would rotate being on call at times. So we were able to have the permission to be able to access the software when we were working remotely from home too, which was an amazing change for the way our practice worked. Um, after I stopped practicing hygiene, then I went on to manage a practice and went back to an on-premise software, and it was like taking a step back in time. So when this opportunity for me to work with Oryx became available, it was really exciting. So I'm really happy to be here. Great, great. Yeah, um, and, and you know, the, 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 the cloud software has so many advantages, and, and working remote is another one of them. I, I do have a sponsor in my group that provides remote employees. And, you know, it's just so much easier to have them um, just log in and work from home, basically. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you can give them their own username and password and they're like any other employee that's in the office. Great, great. So this is the software. You know, one other thing I wanted to mention was that um, Oryx is based on teachings of John Coyce. So if you are a Coyce fan, um, you really enjoy using Oryx. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the office that I worked for, he was a quite trained doctor. And what was really amazing was that our entire team, because of Oryx, was able to be on the same page with our doctor in providing those exams. And it helped us really know everything that he was looking at for every patient so we could become a better, more well-rounded team in presenting that treatment to patients. So yeah, we can touch on that as we go. Yeah. Also, you don't have to be um, trained by the Coys Institute or whatever they call it to have Oryx, you can actually benefit right. from a lot of John Coys's teachings by signing up uh, for Oryx. So you, you, it, it's not a it's not a prerequisite for, for for this, correct? Correct. Yeah, absolutely. We have many doctors who are not Coys trained, but it provides that really streamlined and comprehensive exam that you're providing to every patient. So you're getting some of those benefits that Dr. Coys teaches in his classes without having to actually sign up and go for it. Correct. Okay. Um, so with cloud, the other nice thing is that so many different services are included in our software. You don't need all of those add-ons that you typically need with that on-premise software. We're going to do all of your IT and backup security like you talked about. We have our own imaging solution, um, a dashboard with all of your business analytics, You'll even be able to send all of your patient engagement, communications, reminders, forms, um, and online scheduling inside of our practice management solution with one monthly fee to keep everything simple in your office. Right. And I'm, I want to touch base on that. If you can go back, is that a lot of offices use different software and different subscriptions for, 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 for services. And a lot of these cloud um, software, including Oryx, puts everything together and just with one monthly subscription, you basically save money. Oh, absolutely. You save a lot of money. 
And it's easier on your team too, because then they have one login and everything is coming right into your software. Um, I know when I was managing a practice, so much of my time was spent looking at those different add-on logins to see if any forms came in or if a patient had messaged us. And it's just a lot more clunky when you're doing it that way. Exactly. Um, like you talked about, we're backed by the Koi Center. So you're going to see that as we talk about how you proceed with your exam, all of the evidence-based dentistry that Dr. Koi's um, has allowed us to bring into Oryx. Um, the great thing about Oryx is our patient experience too. Um, it's so different than other software platforms. They're able to fill out all of their forms at home. Everything's really engaging as well. So it's not just filling out the yes, no questions. They're feeling like they're part of this experience before they even come into the practice. And then all of those answers will populate into the doctor exam. So you're reminded of it. So you can keep moving forward instead of having to go back and check, you know, did they say that they grind their teeth? You don't have to go back to that dental form to see it. So this is um, this is kind of interesting for me, to be honest. Um, so what is this that you share? Is this um, a portal that they can see the result of the exam or is this like a PDF form? How, how does that how does this work? So the forms are initially they're a questionnaire but they are moving through with the patient and customizing to them. So you're able to say, I grind my teeth, and then Oryx will intuitively ask more questions about teeth grinding. Um, if they say, I don't grind my teeth, you aren't asked any more questions, so you can move forward in the exam. The patient's then getting this initial score back based on their questions. So that will populate as soon as they're done with their medical and dental history form. And basically it's giving them a risk level on their oral health. So that they kind of have an idea before they come see the doctor what their concerns are and what they should be um, talking to the doctor about and getting more answers for. Gotcha. So this is this is pre-appointment. Correct. Okay. Correct. And all of those forms can be done at home, um, like on a phone or a computer as well. Okay. Um, we have some great revenue cycle management now built into the software too. So we have your insurance clearinghouse natively integrated inside of Oryx. So there's no extra fees for those claims and attachments anymore. You're able to process everything and get your insurance eligibility checked as soon as that patient is attached to their insurance company within Oryx. And then there's great checklists and automation too to keep everybody on point collecting. Right. So two questions I'm going to ask you. What was from the last slide? Um, what happens if the patient is older, like the pictures you showed? Um, and they don't have a computer or they're not very tech savvy, um, can they come to the office and somebody helps them fill that out? Or how do yeah. you guys manage that? Yeah, I mean, we have a kiosk option for somebody to be able to fill out those forms in the office. So sometimes it's a matter of the patient just didn't do them, right? We have those patients that come in and just refuse to do it ahead of time. So then you can hand them the iPad or tablet and they can fill them out there. Um, what our office used to do when we would have an elderly patient that came in and just wasn't able to navigate an iPad, somebody would sit down in the consult room with them and go over those questions, but still be able to show them those engaging pictures so that they would start understanding exactly what and why we're asking those questions. Gotcha. And also what I wanted to ask you here, uh, does Oryx have an um, eligibility, insurance eligibility function? Yeah. Yeah. So this is really important. I want to touch base here is because I get this questions a lot. Everybody's mm -hmm. like, oh, what should I do? I, I want an insurance eligibility um, company to well, who should I go with? This is the information that insurance companies provide for free. And it's written as a code for the, to, to automate it. So Oryx has included that mm -hmm. um, in the program, correct? Yes. Yeah, and a lot of cloud companies do that because it's not that difficult to to incorporate, and it's a very attractive feature. And I'm glad yeah. Oryx has it as well. Yeah, definitely. Not only that, but we have all of the insurance companies pre-populated into Oryx, so it's so much easier for the front desk team to be able to search for that plan and not create duplicates inside of their software. That's such a big issue with some of those on-premise. You're creating a plan every time you get a new patient to come in. And if you don't find it correctly in your system, you're making a brand new one and it's often a duplicate. Great. Yeah. 
Um, so this is an example of the patient portal, how easy it is for them to be booking appointments, doing their new patient forms. They can sign treatment plans on that patient portal, it's consent forms. They can even pay their bills remotely and it'll come back into that patient's account. That patient portal is very valuable for the patient. Um, and everything's really secure. They can even book um, online visits. And this is so customizable to every office. So you might have one office that says, I don't want to do online booking. They don't have to. But another office might say, we want just our hygienists to have their appointments available to be online booked. Um, so the patient would be able to go on, always choose their provider. What type of appointments are the options? Choose that type of appointment. And then because it's cloud, it's automatically syncing directly with your Oryx schedule. So they'll see only those available days and times. They can choose their option. And once that's done, the appointment's going right onto the org schedule for the office, and they're getting a notification because it's really important for the team to be able to verify that that was scheduled correctly, and if not, reach back out to the patient. Great. Um, so now we have an option for teledentistry and virtual consults as well. So many offices are making this available as an online booked appointment. And what Oryx is doing then is embedding the link that the doctor chooses to meet on, whether it's Zoom or Google Meet, and then also providing a consent form right away too, to make sure that it's HIPAA compliant for teledentistry. This has become a huge source of new patient referrals because they often like to meet with the doctor before they come in for that first visit. And it's a great option to be able to have. All of our communication is built inside of Oryx. So you're able to set up all of your automation. So reminders on appointments, save the date, um, reminders if you're overdue for your hygiene appointment, even sending out happy birthday greetings and things like that. You can customize the messaging inside as well as the frequency that those messages go out. You're also able to see the timestamp on delivery for everything, which is really nice. So you can see if your team sent out a text message on time, um, you're gonna be able to see if the patient received their message, if they clicked on it or viewed it which is so nice to back up the office. You're gonna be able to see if they actually receive that message that they had an appointment if they don't come. So it's just helping to get your systems in place. Um, if somebody on your team sends a message out too, you see their initials by it. So you always know who's been communicating with each patient. Now here's some examples going back to our forms and the customization on them and how engaging they really are. Um, all of them have pictures. And so nobody's gonna have a question on what you're asking here. Patients like that because this resonates with them. They say, oh yeah, that does happen to me sometimes. Rather than if they just simply get the question, do you get food caught in between your teeth? They might just say no to that and skip through it. This is almost forcing them into correct answers. Here's some other examples of those questions. So I was talking about, do you clench or grind your teeth? Here's a lady actually doing it. And then that's where it's gonna start customizing for each patient. So that somebody who has moral, more oral health concerns, their forms might take a little bit longer than somebody who is in really excellent health. They can get through it pretty quickly. Um, this is the example of the score that they're getting back. So this shows up as soon as those new patient forms are done for the patient to really look back and say, okay, I'm at high risk for my TMJ. I should probably talk to my doctor about that and see what's going on if there's something that I can do to make that better. So the patient's coming in with that knowledge and it's opening the door for conversation. Maybe the doctor then says, you know what, we should really calibrate your bite, maybe get you an occlusal guard and be able to start that conversation off right away with the patient. So basically, I wanted to kind of mention this here as well. Um, if you can go back to that other slide. Uh, so this is steering the patient, the practice, the doctor, the assistant to what really needs to be done for this patient. Because I know myself, um, sometimes we're in a hurry. We're not really looking at things we're supposed to look at. This is basically uh, creates this um, blueprint of what we should be doing for patients, correct? Correct, yeah. The yeah. team and doctor are getting the results of these scores too. So just going back to my experience using Oryx, we would see, you know, that green, yellow, or red with their periodontal health, their gum score. Um, it would also be for their smile. So sometimes the patient would say, I'm really not happy with their smi with my smile, and that score would be red. 
So we would know that that is a patient that wants to talk about cosmetics or a patient's um, perio score was red. And we would say, well, they're scheduled with hygiene for this first visit. They're probably planning on getting a profi in this first visit. And so we know how to start directing that conversation with them right from the beginning or potentially move that patient to the doctor's chair for just an exam, knowing that they won't get that hygiene appointment. Excellent. Um, this is also coming back with your medical and dental forms. So it's a full interpretation key for all of the positive responses on the medical and dental. Um, this is updated every year with new guidelines from the medical community, but it's gonna show you things like um, if there's any contraindications for um, services, if there are indications for pre-med, they'll summarize any rare diseases. So you don't need to go look them up somewhere. And everybody in the office is prepared for every patient ahead of time. This is this is such a great feature of Oryx that I that I like. Um, basically, uh, it takes the information the patient gives you. And then it interpreted it for you, correct? Yeah. I mean, it, it's telling you, hey, watch out for this medication. Watch out for this. This um, this medical condition should be addressed. It's going to affect the, the dental health. So this is um, this is priceless uh, as far as if you want to be a good clinician, this software will force you to be a good clinician. You you can't really skip it because it's exactly. right in front of your face, right? This is exactly. this, this slide is. Uh, kind of eye-opening for myself as well. Yeah, it is great. And I mean, there are other services that doctors pay for to get that, you know, um, contraindications for certain medications. You pay separately for that, but this is far more advanced than a lot of those separate services too. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so all of our data collection, we want easy for you. So many times the problem in an office is that things don't get done because it's, there's no easy way to do it. So for all of the data collection, we created an app for extra oral photos. I will say from my personal experience, many doctors have said to me, I would like you to take new patient photos. But what it entailed was going to their office, getting the camera, making sure the SD card was in it, taking the photos, downloading them, and then uploading them back into a patient chart. And that just takes a lot of time. So when we were using Oryx, we could just have a phone app, um, pull the patient up, and it has all of these photography guides preloaded in it. So you're just choosing which photos you want to take. As soon as you're done, they're populating right into the exam chart for you. So there's no excuse not to get this done. And it was an amazing experience for the patient because then it starts really personalizing their care as well. Um, now, the other thing is we actually have a guided exam inside of Oryx. This is all based on Dr. Kois's exam, but most softwares, really you have your odontogram, your perio chart, and your progress notes, and that's about it. With Oryx, all of those different categories that are listed on the bottom here is a separate tab in the exam. So it guides the doctor through, you're reminded throughout all of the things that were in the medical and dental history. And then the other thing it is, it's nice for the team to know where to go back to look for that documentation. Um, there's been so many times that I've searched through progress notes for three years trying to find a note about, you know, an issue a patient came in with. So this makes it so much easier for the team as well. We are the only cloud software um, with an airway module as well. So any doctors that are practicing airway dentistry or sleep apnea, this is really valuable for all of that documentation. They can make notes, even if it is a referral to a specialist, they're going to have access to that right inside the software too. Katie, I want you to go back one slide. Okay. And, you know, I've done a demo for Oryx before, and um, I just, I feel like there's a lot more that's continuously added to Oryx. Um, this, this cannot be categorized as a practice management software anymore. This is a clinical software. Oh. You know, the, everybody should know the differences. A lot of the practice management software are just that, practice management. Yeah, they take x-rays as well, right? But you do the work. This almost seems like, you know, they've done the work for you. All you have to do is plug in numbers and data, and it makes a good clinician out of you. It's it's amazing um, yeah. how, how this is. What we find is great for you know a practice who has an established doctor 
who's doing this full comprehensive exam. And then maybe they bring in an associate who is fresh out of dental school and doesn't have their systems in place. Using Oryx helps systemize everything. They can make sure that that associate is just following the protocol in the exam. And then all of the patients are getting that same quality of exam, whether they're seeing this established doctor or the brand new graduate. So it's hugely important for those types of practices. Yeah, I mean, there, I know doctors who spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars to learn this stuff that this yeah. Oryx is basically <laughs> giving you with your subscription. Yep, exactly. Um, this is an example of how you're getting those little reminders from the dental health forms too. So if the doctor's doing their TMJ exam, so many times it's just like, check that TMJ, move forward really quickly. It's within normal limits and you're moving on. And you probably forgot that the patient had actually said that they're having some pain in their joint. It's not something that was at the top of your mind. So with one little pop-up that is on your TMJ section, you're seeing that reminder that they said they were having pain in some. And the doctor did actually recognize that when they were reviewing it with them, um, they put a note on the dental health form that it was when they were chewing food. So it's just a, a matter of let's pause for a second, have that conversation with the patient, and then bringing up potential new treatment for them that's going to help. And really what it's doing is causing the patient to feel assured in the care that they're getting with the doctor. They're saying, this doctor listened to everything that I said they're aware of it and really going to address my concern. Excellent. You're building can, you, trust. can you go back? Because I think the topic before is a hot topic for a lot of dentists these days. So what does it do with the airway? Uh, so basically you're, you're just are reminded to diagnose this, right? Correct. Yep. You're going to be diagnosing it. Um, there's probably 40 different metrics that you can diagnose in our airway module. And then it's going to give you that risk level. So it's automatically taking the answers that you put in and diagnosing the patient with a low, moderate, or high risk on the airway. So the offices could say, okay, if we fill in all of these metrics, this patient is at high risk, our protocol is then to refer them, or our protocol is to give them a sleep device, and they can move forward with that. So it, this is like a step-by-step um, -step questions that, that Oryx mm -hmm. asks you while, while you're examining the patient? Yep. Yep. Wow. Great. So what... What they do is, you know, the doctor is actually checking the patient and the offices that are really great with Oryx, their assistant is helping with this exam and they're kind of guiding through, prompting the doctors to check into these things. And then the patient's hearing all of this and they're starting to get involved and they're interjecting with comments. Instead of so many times, I think doctors just go in, they check everything and they say, okay, um, here's my recommendation. But the patient isn't hearing the diagnosis and the why while you're going through it. So Oryx really helps with that as well. Yeah, I mean, the the, the new talk among in, in dental communities, they're all want to drop this insurance and drop that insurance. And once you do that and you go out on network, you need to distinguish yourself mm -hmm. in um, your community as someone uh, different than other dental offices. And I think this software is something that the it basically has a wow factor for the patients. Yeah. And, you know, we hear the concern that, oh, this exam is going to take too long, but it really doesn't because you're streamlining things. You are organized so you can gather more information in a quicker time period because you're not all over the place. You're not just checking things haphazardly. Yeah, this is a new patient exam. I mean, I'm, I'm not really concerned about time, to be honest with you. If, if anyone's concerned about time, maybe maybe this is not the right software for you. If you want to, yeah, if you want to do an exam in five minutes, you know, again, that's a different philosophy. Uh, I'm okay with it, but I, I'm not judging. But this yep. is this is a comprehensive. This is making you a good clinician. So yeah, exactly. Ask. Different different type of practice, perhaps. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, for our charting too, again, where Dr. Coyce's information is going to come in. You can be so detailed when necessary in the chart. So you could say that there's a restoration on a tooth and just simply list it as an MO amalgam. But you also have the ability to say how large that amalgam is and if there's concerns with it. Like you could say it's fractured or leaking or has an overhang. Um, same thing with decay. Is it limited to the enamel or deep into the dentist? Those differences matter so much when you're pulling together a treatment plan. So you really should be able to see it on your charting. So comparing 
uh, number 30 and 31, basically, mm -hmm. like number 31 looks a lot bigger than number yeah. that. So you can, you can, okay, wow. You can customize the filling. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back to when I started practicing hygiene and we would draw in on the paper the size of the fillings. Oryx is doing that again for you. And it's realistic looking. Yeah. Yes. And then what Dr. Koist has allowed us to do is put in a diagnosis based on what you've charted. So if you say that number 31 has that large restoration, it will automatically be logged with a structural compromise on it. That restoration is too big, that tooth cannot support it, it's compromised. So then what I'm going to show you again in a few minutes is our risk assessment report. And on that patient risk assessment report that they will get at the end of their visit, it's going to tell them that that tooth had a potential risk of fracture. So the patient is now understanding, okay, here's this tooth I have. I maybe had this large amalgam for years, but it could break on me at some point. Not only that, but it's also going to lead the doctor through with this diagnostic opinion. So you're able to see any teeth that have high risk on them, they'll be labeled with red. So it makes it so much faster and easier for you as a doctor to be able to put your treatment plan together. Yeah, I wanna kind of add here is that I love, I love this feature because a lot of these other companies, not necessarily software, when every company talks to you about ROI, profit, money, this is clinical, information basically it's 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 really when you say science based is that hey you're not telling the patient or the doctor from the software what needs to be done it's just that hey this is compromised address it so it's a very um nice approach um and i and i credit dr kois with this that it seems like they followed his philosophy very closely and i and i really enjoy it yeah i mean and some of the patients out there are just hesitant to trust dentists for whatever reason, a variety of reasons. But what helps is to be able to say, hey, we have, you know, it's almost AI. We've just plugged in what we've seen and it's helping us to diagnose what that risk is on your mouth. And patients are a little bit more trusting in that because that's based on the science and they can get behind it. And it's not, you know, that doctor's point of view, which is where, you know, they say, oh, you're trying to buy a new boat this year, and that's why you want me to do this crown. But when you can come back and exactly explain why you're re recommending a certain treatment, it helps tremendously. Yeah, and, and it's a good point because I think um, offices that um, do um, use Oryx as their software, I think it should become the centerpiece of the practice, uh, as in advertising for it and market for it and, and show the fact that Hey, we we have technology to diagnose you better, and and then it's the truth. I mean, it's this is this is amazing. Yeah, and not only is it diagnosing it, but it's helping the patient understand it. Yep. This is an example of the report that is automatically generated as soon as the clinical charting is done. So you've gone and gathered all of your information. You can immediately share this with your patient. Um, it's going to have a summary of all of their risk levels. It'll have all of the patients photos and x-rays included, because that's all been uploaded already. It's going to list any treatment recommendations as far as based on the risk level. So where you said that there was that large restoration, it's structurally compromised at risk to fracture, it's also going to say the correct treatment in this instance is to do a full coverage restoration like a crown or an onlay in order to limit the risk on this tooth. Now, of course, the doctor is going to put together their own treatment plan. So they might say, you know, we don't have to do this crown immediately, but just know that sometime in your future, this is what you're looking at. Um, so many times the patient thinks, every time I come to the dentist, you're telling me I need something new. Um, I think we've all heard that so many times. And it's frustrating for the patient and it's frustrating for the team too, because they're seeing that risk. And if you can't communicate it correctly to the patient, they feel like you're just making something up every time or whatever their perception is. So you can give them this full report right at that first visit. And they say, okay, I see my red is my high risk areas. And most often the doctor's saying, this is where we start. Then there's the yellow, this is something that's coming in the future. So they can kind of pre-plan how they want to phase out their treatment. It makes it so much easier. Um, like you were talking about, let the patients know too, this is what goes on in our practice. Um, we are always happy for our Oryx users to give them that image, put it on your website. 
um, see that it's about the patient. They're getting diagnosed in a different way. That's going to set your office apart from other dentists out there. Um, that makes a huge difference. Through the patient portal, they can also share educational material, home care recommendations, post-op instructions. Um, so the patients start to know that, hey, this is the way it works. After I leave, I can check my patient portal. Any necessary documents are shared there. They're getting the answers. They're not calling the office, asking a bunch of questions afterwards, and it makes everybody's life easier. What our goal is, um, I think we really touched on this, is getting everything easy to represent to the patient and present to them. Um, easily gather your data, put it together, and then have things that you can show for the patient so that they can understand what it is you're trying to suggest for them. Um, it just makes that whole line of communication so much easier. Um, we have great automation as well. So once the exam is done, the doctor is just going to be able to click this generate exam note, and it's summarizing everything that was entered into the clinical charting and putting it into note format automatically. So that saves a ton of time. Notes are something that take forever for the um, doctors to do and they don't want to do. So if you can summarize all those findings automatically, it, it's great. Um, our treatment planning is pretty amazing too. So most softwares, you can create power codes or explosion codes, and it'll put every bit of treatment on the treatment plan for you. But then you're going and phasing it out into the different visits. But Oryx takes it that next step further for you. You click one time on your power code, and even if it's three visits, it's going to put all the appropriate codes in the each visit for you. You will be able to customize it with how much time you want for each visit. So it's streamlining everything. You have a new employee, they just click on that power code. They don't need to ask the doctor, how much time do you need for this or what procedures are in phase one? Everything's gonna be done automatically for you. And then the communication between the clinical team and the front desk is also great because as soon as the clinical team puts that treatment plan into, the, into Oryx, all of those visits then are right on the schedule. It's going to be in order and it'll show how much time is needed for each one. So then it's just a matter of finding 90 minutes for that first root canal treatment and sliding it into the schedule. Now, we also have some really cool analytics and a great dashboard. So you're going to be able to track all of your patients that you have treatment plans created for. Have they scheduled? Um, are they in progress? Did they reject treatment or do they want to get followed up with? You'll be able to see any of those based on that piece of pie that it falls into. So my favorite feature on here is the accepted, not scheduled piece of the pie. That is going to tell you all the patients that signed their treatment plans but didn't book something for whatever reason. So when you click on that piece of the pie, all of those patients and their treatment plans come up. You can review them, and you can even text them or email them as a reminder that they have treatment pending right from that list. So it's so easy to stay on top of those patients who have treatment. Um, now. Treatment planning presentation is also something that's really customizable with Oryx. So you'd have the ability to share it through the patient portal. You could either um, share it on an iPad in the office or print it. And then what is nice too is you can create different templates on that presentation. So let's say it's a doctor doing a full mouth reconstruction. Insurance is not going to touch that amount of treatment. You could show them just the grand total dollar amount of that treatment. And then maybe you're offering care credit or a payment plan in the office, or a discount if they pay in advance, you could provide all of those different payment options. But you might have more traditional treatment and want to show every procedure listed line by line with the patient portion and insurance portion. You could have that as an option as well. So then it's just a matter of selecting the patient, what the presentation is going to look like, hand them the iPad, they review it, and they can sign it right there. And then as soon as that signature is on the treatment plan, it's uploading the consent forms right away too. So these are all consent forms coming from the Koi Center. Um, so they're, they're comprehensive and it's really nice that your team's staying very efficient, getting all of the signatures at once. Nobody is running around trying to get that the day that the patient comes back in for the procedure. So everything is automated, it appears. Yeah. So you basically diagnose, the, the software recommends treatment, the patient accepts, the consent form comes, Everything is uh, automated. And I want to also mention that 
you know, people watching this, maybe someone says, I don't want to use this part of it. You, you don't have to. You can, exactly. but but it's there for you if you want to go to the next level. If you want to, let's say in a year, you're taking a COIS uh, course, you go and, and then you come back and you realize, oh, wow, it's already there for me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a good point. A lot of offices are like, this might be too much for me. I don't know if I can handle mm -hmm. all of it. And that's where Oryx is very customizable. You can use as little or as much of it as you want to. And I often tell new offices who are getting started with it, start simple. Yep. You don't need to do everything all at once. Don't overwhelm yourself. There's so many things inside of it that you can customize, but it'll always come loaded with best practices. So if you just start with what's inside of Oryx, you're still gonna be in good shape. You're still having a great software. And then as you learn it and grow, do all of these extra customizations to make your life easier, really, and provide the best care for your patients. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then really the last thing is our analytic dashboard. This is just so helpful. Um, most of the on-premise software, you either need a separate add-on to see this, or you're just running those lengthy reports that you print out to find how your office is doing. Um, with Oryx, we have a really nice dashboard that's showing your production and collection, the patients that are coming in, you can see if they're scheduling their next appointments next. Um, you'll also be able to see that case acceptance dashboard, track your hygiene patients from there. It is so nice at a glance, and it can be customized per provider or by different date ranges. So you could say, I want to see how we did last month. Or at the end of the year, you pull it up for that whole entire year, and you're able to see all of these numbers, and they're based on your goals. So they're really customized for each office. Any questions for me, Bob, about Oryx? Yes. Um, do you have any slides regarding the imaging at all? I do. Let me find them. Um, so we do have our native imaging solution um, built inside of Oryx. Um, there's no extra fee for it. And we're going to connect your digital sensors right to our imaging. Um, capture them inside, and then they're stored inside of Oryx for you. Yeah, and one of the reasons I'm just mentioning this is the the the, the software that I recommend. Um, all of them have native imaging, meaning mm -hmm. that you do not have to go to a different company to to purchase imaging. You even some of the companies are not contracting imaging companies, so there's always a bridge, and there's yeah. always glitches. And I don't like that. I like the fact that. The imaging module for Oryx and the um, the PMS side, the practice management software side, are all developed by the same company and been tested to work properly. Correct. 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 Okay. Great. I'm going to show you here. This will walk you through kind of what it looks like. Well, that would be um, great if you have a live version to show us how it works. It would be great as well. Yeah. So it's pretty simple. You're seeing my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So it's very simple to walk through. And then all of those images will go into each patient's chart. So it's not like you have to go back to the imaging tab to look at it. Uh -huh. um, you're in your tooth structure exam, you can easily see the x-rays that were gathered that bit. Um, so again, you're just staying moving forward every single time as you move through. Excellent. And then, yeah, you see them acquired right in the radiographic tab there. Beautiful. And and you had, uh, if you go back to that acquisition area, you had mm -hmm. different templates for full mouth yeah. right there. Okay. Yep. And then they'll store as those templates inside of the patient's chart as well. Okay. So yeah. this is the imaging module. It captures it and it, then it pushes it into the patient's chart. Yep. Yep. Very nice. And we work and with just about every sensor that's on the market right now. We can get connected for you. Right. And the, um, one of the important points that uh, Rania and I discussed last year that there is um, your your imaging module is um, FDA approved, yeah. which is very, very important because it takes time and 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 money um, for for a company to do all that. And it is um, FDA approved. Great. Yeah. Yep. 
Beautiful. Um, do you have anything else to add? Um, I would be happy to show any of your great supporters a full demo. You know, they can certainly call us anytime, get scheduled on our website. Um, we're really excited about, about the software. I mean, there's just so many amazing updates that we're making all the time. Um, one of our new features that we're just adding is a payment plan option. So offices can set up the parameters on a payment plan that they're wanting. And that's something that we're listening to users, what they're looking for in the software. And I think that's something that should be noted with cloud software is that we can make those updates in real time as they're completed. Um, you know, when you have your traditional software on premise, you're waiting for that annual update. And sometimes there's a lot of glitches that come along with updating that new version of the software in the practice. So that is a huge changer um, when you go cloud. Yeah, definitely. And and my members from my group know that I I don't bring any uh, product or service into my group unless I'm willing to buy it for myself mm -hmm. and, and use it myself. And Oryx is definitely something that everybody should be um, demoing if they're thinking about changing their software. And as you said, um, it, it just checks so many boxes as far as security of your data as far as um, saving you money, because a lot of us are using different, um, um, you know, different companies for different services. And this kind of puts it all in one um, uh, package. And also um, your company, um, Oryx has a nice little uh, special for our group members as well that, the, you, that you guys can discuss um, yeah. in person when somebody contacts you. Um, I wanted to thank you if you wanted, um, stop sharing your screen. Thank you. I wanted to thank you for being with me today. And um, hopefully we can maybe have one of these um, uh, later on during the year, if something new comes up as far yeah. as features, that would be great. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. We're excited to be with you. Great. Thank you. Great.